Today's episode of Mummy's Boy is sponsored by HelloFresh. Oh, Hello yes. Hello Fresh. Now, Mum, we're closer to Halloween now. Yes. It's spooky season. Mm. It's getting chillier outside. Yes. Um, and you've got to avoid the pesky trick-or-treaters. You yes. know, you don't want to be heading to the shops all the time because it's miserable and True. there might be trick-or-treaters. Ugh. And we all hate <laughs> them. <laughs> um, so this is where HelloFresh comes in oh. Pre-portioned ingredients Yes Would you believe Straight to your door Easy In a in this little bad boy box um, Saves you time and effort During these, these cold days Well that sounds an, Like an absolutely delightful idea to me Arthur Tell me more I can Good Well HelloFresh users will spend less time Cooking and more time with their kids Oh lovely Which is great for you When I come back for dinner Yes And I you promised me the world with food. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. And it's better you for following ingredients and recipes. Well, that is Rather than true. do your own thing. Yes. Easy to follow recipes, take the mm -hmm. hassle out of cooking, which means you've got more time to focus on quality time with your family. Aww. Slash me. And let's be honest, more time for wine. Oh, well, I'd be very annoyed if that wasn't true. So, OK, tell me, what meals have you been having this week? Well, it is getting cold outside. I'm in mm -hmm. my, my cosy jumper. I'm in my cosy era, yes. some would say. And HelloFresh offers a wide range. And I have been cooking up some seared lamb steak and red wine jus. Oh, I see. Look how fancy that is. Oh, you got me at the I red I would never wine. be able to do that if it wasn't for that. For That's lovely. Fresh. Did it look like that when you made it? It looked exactly like that. Oh, maybe, that's maybe not quite as well presented. I can just see me and your father sitting in front of the log fire yeah. with a nice glass of red wine and that nice I can meal. serve it to you, maybe. Mm, that would mm. be good. Well, what else have you been having, Arthur? Um, I have been making this super quick one. It takes 15 minutes. Oh. And it's the satay pork rice bowl. Oh, that's like a bit of me. That. Well, quick and delicious in 15 minutes. Sign me up. How do I do it? Well, you're in luck, Mum, because HelloFresh are giving you and all the viewers of Mummy's Boy an exclusive offer to get you started. Ooh. You can get 60% off Four. your first box plus free desserts for life. Oh. Has there ever been a better sentence than that? Just oh. use the code on screen now or head over to www.hellofresh.co.uk and place your order today. Well, I'm positively salivating just <laughs> considering it. Um, you can also click the link in the description of this episode or even whip out your phone and scan the QR code on screen to make ordering your first box as simple as possible. Or as simple as pie, even. Wow. <laughs> boom, boom. Well, excellent. You've really got me in the mood and um, I'm now thinking red wine. It's not even midday, Mum. Oh, don't be so dull, Arthur. On today's episode of Mummy's Boy, we react to comments on our viral food challenge video. I also find out what team cest means. And I read through a load of correspondence from people who only care what my mum has to say. Remember to like and subscribe so you never miss an episode. It's Mummy's Boy. Hello and welcome to Mummy's Boy with me, Arthur Hill, and my adorable and puzzling... Mother oh, Lisa. Oh, that's good. I like to be puzzling. a puzzle. Yeah, I came up with that one. Uh, did you? No. Deep <laughs> down, I've always been a mummy's boy at heart. And in this weekly podcast, I get to spend some quality time with mum and receive some much needed advice that only a mother can give. But sometimes my mum needs help too. TikTok, social media, viral videos, celebrities. These are all things which my poor mum just can't get her head around. Mm. So I'm here to help her before this modern world leaves her behind. Oh. Not only will I help her unravel the mysteries of youth and bring her into the digital age, but I'll also be making Lisa's motherly wisdom available to all of you as well. So if you're in need of advice or even just have a question or story that you're desperate for me and Arthur to read, slide into the DMs on socials at Mummy's Boy Pod or send us um, a message. Yes. Or send us a message or... Oh, fuck it. I was trying not to look. <laughs> <laughs> slide into our dms on socials at mummy's boy pod or send us a message or even a voice note to whatsapp on 07822-013-837 and no matter what the issue i will ask her in a feature i like to call mum can we talk why are you laughing just funny yeah just funny just funny lovely Oh, hello. Hello, you. Oh, <laughs> oh hello. <laughs> hello, you. Hello. Hello, darling, you are. Right? right, lovely. Like, treacle, what you darling, you oh, What was it? What? Trend, you, what that mean? Treacle, you are. Right? What's up, darling? Yeah, what's up, darling, you are. Right? Treacle. 
There was just a like treacle. I know. What's happening, girl? You're right. Yeah, what's happening, girl? You're right. You're right. right. You're right. Something treacle. You're right. Well, you come out of these tenders. Yeah. Oh no, that didn't sound right at all. Anyway, it, uh, I'm jolly well, thank you. Good. Yeah. Um, how are we? Um, what's been going on? What are you going to swap speak like that for the whole episode? No. Maybe. Maybe. Maybe not. I've got to beat the Tory allegations, didn't I? Oh, yeah, actually, yeah. Yeah, no dark chocolate. No dark talking. chocolate. Yeah. Actually, I got put on a list of, like, the most Tory... Oh, you're... The, like, who, by Rufus Rice. Oh, for heaven's sake, what does he the know? The most Tory. What's he, he doing said, he making a list? He put me in with, like, Max Fosh, and I'm not that... Oh, am, I, am I that posh? No. 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 Yeah. Goodness sake. Yeah. And I anyway. won't vote for them again. <laughs> <laughs> That's a joke. And actually, it doesn't necessarily tally that posh people vote Tory and well, it's kind of that's, common Tory people. Tory is becoming sort well, of a word for posh, I think. I know, yeah, well, of, that needs yeah. to be addressed, mm. methinks. Yeah. Doesn't it? Yeah. yeah. But um, anyway, um, how do we get onto that? Oh, for heavens. I don't know. I Actually, I saw accent. the end of an episode of EastEnders the other night and was utterly <laughs> transfixed <laughs> by how appallingly badly done it was. Oh, wow. I thought and you were going to say how good it was. Oh, my God. It was shocking. I used to love EastEnders back then when it first started. And there are people in it who were in it yeah. back in the day. Well, They've I'll been guess, there for like 40 years. Is. Oh, <laughs> Letitia I can't Dean. Think of any... uh, Robbie Fowler. Who's the, um, who's the guy? Um, Ross Kemp. Ross Kemp. Who's the other yeah. one? Who's I've got nothing left? Who who's plays that? Phil? Ian Beale. Phil. Ian Beale. Ian Beale. Oh my God. Phil. Phil Mitchell. Who, pl who played Phil? Mi Phil? That, that, no, Phil Ross I don't know his Kemp name. played the other one. What was his the, bloody name? I'm Phil and up. Phil and Phil and Phil and Dave. No. Phil and Bob. Phil and <laughs> Steve McFadden plays Phil Mitchell. Steve, Steve McFadden. McFadden. I had an audition for EastEnders. Did, Did you, you know really? that? I didn't know that. That's I had an pretty... audition for wow. EastEnders. That's fine. <laughs> when <laughs> it must have been before you were born or just after you were born. And my agent said to me, you know, I had to go to Elstree Studios. And she said, you know, you've got to go, you go to reception and you check in and they'll come and find you and give you a script and blah, blah, blah. And she said, just be, be badly spoken from the minute you arrive. Don't, <laughs> don't wait until you're in the room. So I remember turning up at the reception going, hello, I'm Lisa. And just no feeling way. like a complete perk. And then I was in the lift with this runner and she went, oh, you know, did you have a good journey here? And I said, yeah, it's all right. <laughs> <laughs> oh, wow. What the hell was I doing? It was really funny. It was really funny. And I had to do a scene sat in a pub with Phil Mitchell. He wasn't there. Oh, um, I was gonna but say that was cool. going to be the scene. But I think Blimey. it was quite appalling. <laughs> Hello. Wow, my mum could have been on EastEnders. That would have helped the Tory allegations quite it a lot. It would, wouldn't it? Wouldn't that have um, been marvellous? Yeah. Anyway. Um, anyway. Moving on. Um, are we recovered from Arthur TV yet? It's nice oh, to just be asked to. Oh, We had two lovely two weeks episodes. with Arthur TV. Yeah. One so lovely... I can just I can stay for another one. I know. Bless his little heart. Yeah, I could stay. That still sounds a bit Trumpian when you do that. Oh, come on. It does. There's something there's about no the way you there's do... There's not even a... Tr there is. How there can, is. There's nothing. There is, isn't there? Yeah. There's not. Well, not that's now. That's just Arthur TV. Yeah, well, that's better. But anyway... It's nothing to do with me. No, thank um, you. Um, he's, and actually, I, I heard a couple of little bits of little clips from the nasty episode, mm. um, which was really quite amusing because you're literally swearing your head off like yeah, the yeah, yeah. worst language ever. The word, yeah. I sort of do give it a bit. And there's, bless him, Arthur going, goodness, goodness <laughs> me. Oh, goodness, goodness me. <laughs> I was like, oh, I love him so much. Yeah, He's all right, we puppet. get it. Fucking hell. <laughs> goodness, goodness me. Yes, anyway, um, goodness but me. So we've, we've, we've realised we haven't <clears throat> sort of mentioned that we, um, we do bonus episodes. Oh, do, have we not mentioned that? Not really no, properly. I suppose we only on, mention on, it when we do them. Um, when we do them, yeah. So anybody so who doesn't you aren't know... Aware, if you're watching, I'm looking at you, Stacey from Kent. <gasps> Stacey from that Kent. That would be good if there was a Stacey from Kent. It would, Drop it? a comment if you're Stacey from Kent and I'll give you two free tickets to any of my tour shows. <gasps> you can't do that. <laughs> if you provide ID. Um... Okay, 
But what yes. was I saying? <laughs> you were saying that we do, we do special episodes. We do special on a Sunday. bonus episodes. Uh, they come out every Sunday. They're audio only. So whether it be on Spotify or Apple or your radio, <laughs> your vinyl or something, no, that doesn't Arthur. make sorry. But they're there for you to listen to yes. somewhere. Yeah, um, we sort of debrief, don't we? And talk yes, about we debrief. Others. We keep I things current you, on the... Uh, yeah, current. And down with the kids on the bonus episode. Well, you're down with the kids. I'm not. No. I try. But they're, they're good little 20-minute snippets into the wonderful lives of <laughs> these two entertainers. <laughs> <laughs> so go check them out. Yeah. Cool. Um, anyway. Yeah, what? Speaking of comments from the mukbang... Video. Um, We've got some here. Oh, have that we? we? We thought were quite oh, enjoyable. Do I need my glasses? Um, no, I'll I can read them out. I'll just let you read. Yeah. Them. Okay. Um, I'll put them back on my head. So, should have put all that whimpering from Arthur on a Patreon. I swear to God, you gave that to the internet for free. A Patreon. <laughs> oh dear, here we go. <laughs> a Patreon. Patreon. A Patreon. What's it's that? like Patreon is like a subscription thing. You could a lot of creators put additional content on where it's behind a paywall i've li <laughs> literally lost me i have no idea so let's say so we could make a mummy's boy patreon right and we could put episodes on there early or like behind the scenes stuff but people would pay monthly to see that oh so someone's they? saying that they can't believe they gave all that whimpering oh i see from me for online free. for free because it probably belonged more it. on OnlyFans, probably. But it did sound a little bit sound... saucy in places, yeah, didn't it? Yeah, did. For people who weren't watching, mm. they might have thought yeah. something else was going there were, on. There were a few comments that aren't here that were just people saying, like, my dad was in the next room and he wondered what I was, <laughs> 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 what I was watching. Um, so sorry if that was, if that was you. Oh, dear. Um, yes. So Aww. people saying that you took the challenge like a boss. Like a boss. Yeah, I mean, yeah, obviously me. you spat it out and had. I, what did I spit out? I thought you, I thought you couldn't swallow it because you have what, allergies. The, no, I did swallow it. What the the Dorito? Dorito. I did swallow it. Oh, okay, sorry, I didn't Thank know you that. Very much. But you had a tiny amount, right? I had a smaller bit than the two of yeah, you. Yeah, yeah. But I made nowhere near no, as much no, no. fuss as you. No, but you know. Well, what do I know? Obviously, as I said before, mm. it was I was it was fine. I was just doing it for the clip. You, yeah, of course you were. Yeah, for the content. I've been in this business a long time. Yeah. You know. Yeah, dear. Mm. I know what makes a good clip. <coughs> I was fine. Um, was I could fuzzy. listen to a forty-eight hour version of this video and not get bored. Oh well, you need to get out more. I don't know. If, yeah, and I don't know which part they mean by that. And, but, yeah, and we couldn't have done it for longer than no. We did it. Well, we wouldn't have to. Oh, I see. They're just going to listen we to it. We wouldn't have to do oh, it for the hour. Yeah, all right. Shut up. Move on. They just changed the length <laughs> of the video. Yes, okay. Um, oh, God. Thank you, guys. I was having an awful day today and watching the three of you ascend and look at God in the eyes with that Dorito really <laughs> cheered me up. <laughs> that isn't God. far off what I experienced, if I'm honest. Well, you went fuzzy at one point, you I said. I did go fuzzy. Was it all furry? Hallucinate. Something. Yeah, just like blurry. <laughs> yeah, it was pretty crazy. <laughs> that was arriving at heaven's gate. Yeah, I think I was close. Um, <laughs> so back to the comment about your sleep who who said what and is it helpful the hallucination thing used to happen to me and I found that it's hyper hypno hypno <laughs> hypnogogic hypnogogic hypno how the hell hypno oh for hip, sake where is it hypno hypnogogic Hi hypnogogic and hypno 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 oh, for fuck's sake she's made that up <laughs> Hypnagogic and hypnopompopic hallucinations. <laughs> they are fairly normal and not much you can do for them. Nice. Oh, well, no need no... to freak out about it. You're not dying. I'm aware I'm not fucking dying. Yeah, but, but I am but at the time and it's not nice. But thank you for the comment Hypno... and your made up words. Hypnagogic. Um, Alexa. Sorry, that was and... rude. I, thank you. I appreciate the comment. Hypno how do you? Pompic. How is the correct way of saying that though? Hypno hypnagog hypnagogic and hypnopompic. <laughs> they can't be real words. Hypnagogic hallucinations are vivid, visual, auditory, tactile, or even kinetic perceptions that, like sleep paralysis, occur during the transition between wakefulness and REM sleep. Blimey! Interesting. Wow, yeah. Arthur, you've got a thing. I've got a thing. You're a hypnagog. I'm a hypnagog. And hypnopompic. 
hallucinations? Are you sensing things that are not actually happening while in a state between dreaming and waking? Wow. So I think they Are nailed they? it. They, they did, did nail, nail it. it. What's her name? It. Alexa. I'm not loving that, that there's not oh, much I, I can do for them. I just turned on Alexa. <laughs> <laughs> Take a look at their love section. Love that. Oh, shut up, Alexa. I've been there the whole time. Oh, that's hysterical. I've just never said Wait. Alexa. Wait. Oh, I won't be able to pick up. Alexa. Fart. I'm having trouble connecting. Oh, oh you damn boring it. old cow. You don't need internet to fart. Right, shush. Right. right. Um, Carry on. We've got some more comments that oh, producer good. Jack's been getting, um, oh. but they're not important. Because <laughs> producer Jack is not important no. to us anymore. We are freezing him out. Bargain storage deals says that Jack looks cute. <laughs> <laughs> Bargain storage deals. <laughs> Oh, dear. Oh, Jack. Which I think is... Oh, bargain well, stores yeah. deals. Who is right, that person? And they're person? asking for an episode with producer Jack. He looks cute. And an episode with producer Jack. Well, I do think producer Jack needs to... We, yeah, we'll we, get him on for a segment. We're going to get him in here segment. for something, aren't we? For last week. And um, and we'll, But you are right, bargain... What's he called? Bargain. Oh, Bargain see. storage deals. Bargain storage deals. You are right. He's quite cute. Thank you, Lisa. It's all right. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, just I bought a book with me. Have I got time? Yeah. I found this book. And I mean, I literally found it at home. You I've never seen it before. I don't know how it got into the house. You, you found the meaning of life. Brown new. It's actually called The Meaning of Lif. <laughs> Which made me laugh to start off with. It's the original dictionary of things there should be words for. Interesting. And I thought I should bring it in, and each week I will g give you some Ooh, wow. words. Just I just opened it on the train. Coming the up with here. your own segment and not I asking am. us. Well, wow. okay. And I got to um, a page with S words on it, okay? And the very first one immediately interested my brain. Scrabby. A curious shaped duster given to you by your mother, which on closer inspection turns out to be half an underpant. <laughs> you see, that... Yeah, I don't think this, this section is going to last. No, and this is another good one. Here's one, Arthur. Let's see if you can hazard a guess as to what this word means. Scrogs. Oh. Scrogs. Does it say if it's a... What type of word it is? It's an... an. I sort of Which is verb. a noun. Oh, right, okay. Um, <laughs> scrogs. Mm. Please use it in a sentence. Okay. Um, <laughs> I'm, se I'm sending this dinner back. It's got some scrogs in it. Like loose hairs? <laughs> Stout pubic hairs, which <laughs> protrude from your helping of moussaka in a cheap Greek restaurant. <laughs> I don't that that doesn't scrogs scrogs it's good isn't it I don't think that what works a good word as a pubic it hair well it, it it is it's real this is a real book oh no no it's not made up it's a no, real no, no, book no, no but the words are made up no they're real no the whole point of the book is they're no, words no, no, that no, should be real. words that aren't words yes but they're real they should be used but I'm saying I know what no, you're saying no you're, no, you're taking the piss. I like it. I'm not. You are. I just don't think the word scrog is the right, right, like, feel for you know that what? kind of thing. Oh. Anyway. Shall I do one more? What letter? Give me a letter. P. P. M-N-O-P. Pimpern. 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 P-I-M-P-E-R-N-E. -E. I'm having trouble cleaning the pimperns. They're difficult to get to. <laughs> <laughs> oh, difficult to get to. Mm. Is it a body part again? No. So it's in the bathroom. It's Pimpons. in the bathroom. Mm. God, it's quite hard. No, you see. Like the, the shower head thing, point. things that no. stick out shower head. No. I, but that's quite close, actually, in a way. Shall I tell you? Go on. One of those rubber nodules found on the underneath side of a lavatory seat. What? 
One of the underwater nodules. You know, when not underwater, oh. under underneath. You know, when you you've obviously never cleaned a toilet. I have cleaned the toilet. Well, on the underneath side of the loo seat, there are little sort of oh, knobbly bits. Oh, right. I see that. Like stop it from stop it from banging. Slamming. Yeah, they must already have a word. I refuse well, to believe they're called pimpers. They don't already have a word. Well, sorry, producer Jack. Please make this book redundant. Well, I like it. I like the fact that it's called the meaning of lift. That is funny. <laughs> it's written by the bloke who wrote. Um, They're called buffers. There Toilet you go. Seat buffers. Buffers. That's a ridiculous word. So you can shove that book. It's written by the bloke who wrote the Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy. I enjoyed that feature, Lisa. You can bring it back again. Thank you very much, Jack. I'll. I'm pretty sure it's my name on the thing. Still. <laughs> right. Um... <laughs> I'll, I'll look into it more. I only found it this morning. So okay. I'll look into it. In greater detail and find some good ones. I'll find a book to bring as well. Yeah, that would be nice. Um, right then. I'm actually reading a book at the moment. Steady on. Two, actually. What? Oh, you can't read two at once. Well, I can because one is for the day when I'm like... Because I started reading at night and stopped reading the type of book you read at night, which is what I was going to talk about. It's oh. called like How to Clear Your Mind or something. Oh, right. Um, and it's like a self-help book. Right, okay. Sort of with like productivity and all these things yes and like anxiety but for some reason reading the book gives Makes me anxiety <laughs> <laughs> so i really, really just can't i can't do it um oh. yeah well what was the other one Av hotel avocado the second bob mortimer book it's good stuff oh yes it's great does it feature nicocado avocado no it doesn't it should do though um i'm, a, I'm on it Right, before we take a break, let's play the nation's favourite game. Let's. I'm going to tell you three things and you have to guess which is the truth. I will give you the answer in part two. Are you ready for yes. this impromptu one? Yes. Because you're too knowledgeable these days. Yeah, I'm just... Okay, according to a recent survey, which of the following roles were the most searched for jobs in the UK this year? Oh. A... Data management officer. B, theme park historic character. Or C, <laughs> TikTok presenter. Oh, God. The most searched for jobs. The most searched for As jobs in, in the UK. Job, so to make a job application. If you were looking for a job. Yeah, if you're looking for a job, yes. you'd search for these. Yeah, yeah. Okay. <laughs> that is interesting. Okay. Have a think. I'm, I'm going, going to go to. for a break. Can I have some cake? Yes, a cake break. A cake break. Make some cake on our break. I had a lovely cake at the weekend. I made a, a carrot and banana cake and it was bloody yummy. Oh. Yeah, Ooh. it was nice. Should have brought some of that suits in. Suits you, sir. Ooh. I watched a bit of the far show as well. Oh, my God, it's so cheeky and rude. Have you ever seen it? The what show? Oh, eh? The what show? The far show. You should... Have you never seen The Fast Show? I don't know what you're saying. The Fast Show. Fast. The fa Fast? What's the matter with your ears? You were like The Fast Show. I wasn't. It could have been fire. It could have been fast, fast or far. Arthur. Arthur. I know what you're saying now, but what? don't have a go at me when it's... But there's, there was three there's options. There's nothing wrong with my diction. Fast. Yes. Show. Thank you. Very good. I wish this show was faster. Yeah, me too. <laughs> right. <laughs> Join us in part two or we'll find out the answer. And for mum, can we talk correspondence? I can't do it. The correspondence. <laughs> it's mummy's boy. Right, welcome back. Before the Thanks. break, we were playing Two Lies and a Truth. Oh, Here is a reminder of the question. According okay. to a recent survey, which of the following roles were the most searched for jobs in the UK this year? A, data management officer. B, theme park historic character. Or C, TikTok presenter i think this is a now no you're on a roll remember mum this could be what your third or fourth in a row i, think. I know i've done really well haven't yeah. i and this seems to be a no-brainer to me mm. this one which probably means i'm going to get it wrong um but i'm just it's got to be tiktok really yes i'd like it to be the historic characters mm. theme park characters but I don't think it is. I think that's second. And I think the other one, which just sounds really, really tedious. Um, 
but only because I don't really know what data a data manager officer. does. Um, that's got to be number three. So it's TikTok first. Okay. Am I right? Being a TikTok presenter and a historic character at a theme park are among the most popular jobs this year. Among? According to new research, but data management officer positions are the most searched for roles. Bloody so Nora, stop it. And I really? guess that's ironic because this would have been, this is from data. So that's why they're needed. <laughs> yes. Without the data management officer, we wouldn't have we this wouldn't question. We wouldn't know that. Um, oh, darn it. Yeah. Oh. T people are searching for TikTok presenter. That's pretty crazy. But also, I am sort of surprised that people are I'm also to like dress theme up as... park historic character. Yeah, historic sounds weird. How many historic yeah. characters? In theme am I parks. Just not, am I thinking of this wrong? Like... This I'm, is like a list of people who like... You're dressing up as Henry the, the, Henry the Eighth. Yeah, and they're hmm. typing in like, what job would I like to apply for? And this is the job they search for. Yeah. So they think but like, I want to be... Like, I want to be Henry the Eighth. But theme... But well, how else? many theme parks have a historic... Um, is no, it like... I, am I, I lumping it in with like Mickey Mouse? Well, no, they're not historic, are That's they? what I mean. But are they historic characters? Maybe it's the word. Oh, I see. Here. Maybe we can get a data management officer on. Yeah. To come I and think let we, us know the data we need to get one on. It. Yeah. I wouldn't mind being a theme park historic character. Which one would you be if you could be one? Ah, <laughs> oh, that's a very good question. Um, I would be Belle from Beauty and the Beast. I could skip about with a book. Interesting. Yes, that would be nice. Mm. Who would you be? Who would I be? Historic characters. No, not historic, just a theme park. No, I Otherwise mean, I, I wouldn't historic. Have... Oh, well, you didn't ask me about historic. Well, I, I did say, I think I did. I think I did. I don't think you did. I, I think, think I said, said the word. So I would have said Well, otherwise, what, I said. what choice have I got? I've got to be one of the Yeah, I'm trying to think of my favourite characters die. in history. That's what I'm trying to think. I think I'd be Da Vinci. Oh, well, of course you would, dear. Yeah. Yeah. But that wouldn't be that fun to play. But, sorry, there are no theme parks with a character of Da Vinci wandering about going, Hello, children! No. Are there? No, he'd be like, so, hello, children. Yeah, all right. Yeah, he'd be no, a... <laughs> yes. um, buongiorno, buongiorno, children. Would ragazzi. you like to see my painting? Uh, my painting? My painting. It stares at you when you walk past. <laughs> um, mm. I'm not sure he counts. Sorry. No. Which character would you think Which your would be best for better start after? An actual character or history? Victoria. Queen Victoria. I could not be you Queen could. Victoria. You could. She was a miserable looking old bat. But I'm saying you get makeup. I'm not saying it looks like you. I'm saying you'd have to play it. Mm. Small children. I think you'd be a good Queen Elizabeth as well. Maggie Thatcher. <laughs> I could not do Maggie Thatcher. I think you'd do a good Maggie Thatcher. I could not do the Maggie Iron Lady. Blimbing Thatcher. I think you'd be great at that. Now we're back to Tories look. Yeah. I can't even remember how she spoke. I put a stick through her neck to make sure she never comes back. Who's that? <laughs> There's a video of like on the day <laughs> she died, like, like some like a BBC. I don't know if it was BBC. They like, interviewed a bunch of Scots and they all just oh, were so really? horrible. But it's quite funny. That old woman was like, "I put a stick through her neck to make sure she never comes back." <laughs> <laughs> I put a stick through her heart and garlic around her neck to make sure she never come back. Isn't that a pretty horrible thing to say when her funeral's going on right now? Too bad. <laughs> Bravo, her. Yeah. Um, oh, how R.I.P. Maggie. Yes, um, indeed. Who would I be then? Peter Pan. <laughs> you come flying oh. through the window and try and attach your shadow back. Yes, I'd like that. Wouldn't that be I'd nice? I'd like to be Peter Pan. Yeah, I think he'd be a nice yeah. Peter Pan. Hmm. Oh, sorry. Did you want me to pick someone sort of butch and No, I think that's good. I think that's good. Oh, good. I've already played him, of course, in the, in the, in the school panto. I've got history. No, you haven't. Did I? What I think I about? did. I think I did no, play. You, did you just not. weren't there. What do you mean I wasn't there? It wasn't a thing you could I've be invited to. I've Panto. You never saw the school pantos I did. It was for students only on the last day of school. Oh, I see. What, when you were like in your late teens being yes. silly? Oh, I see. Oh, well, that's different. I thought you meant like No, no. Proper. In the, yeah. You were. I didn't I, well, remember. No, I think I was Peter Pan. It Peter. was a very last minute thing. 
I came in and saved the show. Seriously. Oh, of God. course you did. I oh, changed the whole God direction Arthur. of everything. Yeah, and no, I did. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I did. <laughs> uh, <sighs> yes, okay. Yeah. Mm. Anyway. Anyways. Up. Just in case you're interested. Second most popular was the theme park historic character. Well, at least With I was close. TikTok presenter being third. God, we're so we're so fucked. <laughs> oh, God. Okay. Yeah. Mum, can we talk? Oh, okay. Are you ready? Yes. For some Mum, can we talk correspondence? Yes. Shall we dive in? Yes. Get mm. on with it. From Anon, I met a guy last night and I thought the way we vibed was really cool. Mm. It was one of those instant connection things. I told him Ooh. to join our uni's lacrosse team. Oh, Tory allegations. Interesting. Um, and even booked him into our training session, although I swore to myself not to engage in Team Cest this year. That's team quite funny. Cest? I've not heard that before. That's good. That's team cool. Team Cest. He's so sweet and lovely to talk to. However, I later found out that he's 18 whilst I am about oh. to turn 21. And he is very inexperienced with women. He's not even had his first kiss yet. Oh, bless him. He's also 5'6", and I'm 5'5". Five five. He's know, a short king. He's a That's short right. king. I know it's superficial, and I personally don't care about height that much, but I feel like my friends will think that I'm a bit odd for being enamoured by a guy that is a similar height to me and younger than me. Oh, put yourself together, Anon. I typically, I typically date older and taller guys. Do I keep talking to him, or do I friend zone him? Oh, my God. Right. No, I'm quite cross now oh, with Anon. Okay. Well, what you mean? she says, I personally, I don't mind somebody who's shorter and younger, but I'm worried about what my, my friends think. Mm. Well, pull yourself together. You say he's immature because he hasn't got much experience. She's the one being immature. Oh, I'm very cross. You are. No, I so. no, you, she must do. I think they're all valid things that she's worried about. No, but they're, they're like, not. They are, they're like, they're not, oh. they're not important in the grand scheme of things. No, they're you know, not. Three years gap isn't that bad. And that I mean, weird or that strange. I'm a little bit more concerned that he's never kissed anyone and That's he's 18. Bit, yeah. He's probably lying. He's a sex god. Yeah. <laughs> right. <laughs> he never stops. He works mm. his way around all the lacrosse teams in the country. Yeah. One a, by he's one. A, he's the team cest man. I love that word. Team cest. Well. I think you should mm. go for it, Anon. Yeah, I do. Um, well, no, but now I'm crossed with her now. King. I don't think she should do anything. She should... He's a short king that needs his short queen. Yeah. Not a shallow queen. Yes. So make it happen, Anon. Yes. Question two from Chloe. Mm -hmm. Hey, Lisa and Arthur. My name is Chloe, and I wanted to ask Lisa a question. Sorry, Arthur, not you. <laughs> I love singing and have recently found out that you have done some singing too. Oh. So my question is, can you sing your favourite song to sing <laughs> on the podcast for me, please? No. Whoa. <laughs> Thank you. Love your podcast. And Arthur, just, short just so you feel special, you are quite cute. <laughs> oh, darling. Isn't that nice? Quite cute. Stop. Um, <laughs> sing my favourite song. Sing your favourite song. Go on. Just give it a little. I haven't got a favourite song. Oh, my God. What's your, what's your funeral song? Welcome to the Hotel California. Dink, 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 dink. Such a lovely place. Such a lovely place. Such a lovely face. Such a lovely dun, face. Dun, dun, dun. There's plenty of room at the Hotel California. Dink, 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 dink. Anyway, yeah, that. There we go. Having that at my funeral. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Lovely. That was beautiful. I'm not um, sure that's a word I'd have used. We should get you to do more of that. Should we? We should. Mm. We should. Well, good luck, um, Chloe, with your singing. Yes, good luck with your singing, Chloe. Well, what's your... If somebody had said to you, sing your favourite song, what would you have come up with? I was a blank. My favourite song. Oh. Old Bamboo? No. <laughs> Probably... It's annoying because then you have favourites and they sort of get overplayed and then, you, you know... Yeah, that is true. For a long time, it was never too much. Luther Vandross. I don't know that one. Yes, you do. How does it go? Um, I can't feel myself. I don't want nobody else to ever love me. You <laughs> are my shining star, my guiding light, my love fantasy. There's not a minute, hour, day or night that I won't love you. You're at the top of my list because I'm always thinking of you. Oh, my love. So you do know. I do know that one. Yeah. I would not have known one of yeah. those words. 
I just think I as to ever. sing it, so I know it. It took me bloody ages. Um, hmm. My favourite song at the moment yes. is um, "For Crying Out Loud" by Phineas. Really good song. Oh, I've never heard of that yeah, either. Obviously, that one, I'm not singing it, oh, but oh. it's good. Okay, yeah. right. Question three yeah. from Grace. Hi, lavish Lisa and Arthur. Lavish. Lavish. And you're nothing. You're just Arthur. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if I'm... I lavish think I'm, Lisa I think and I'm in, Arthur. Um, yeah. No, I think it's hi, lavish Lisa, and as in like we're both lavish. Oh, we're both lavish. Mm. I hope so, anyway. Okay. I just remembered my dream last night and oh, realised how strongly it affected me. Oh. I dreamt that Arthur suddenly died. Oh. And I only found out by someone posting on his Instagram story. Oh. I was incredibly sad, but not really for Arthur. Well, More for know. Mama Lisa, imagining how sad she would be. Sorry, yes. Arthur. <laughs> anyway, it turns out that he didn't die, and it was some sort of sick and twisted joke. Again, I found out through this his Instagram story. Thank you for listening to my emotionally dra draining dream. By the way, I love the part of the pod where Lisa went through her diaries and I'd love to hear some more best bits. <laughs> love you guys lots, Grace. Oh, wow. thank you, Grace. I'm still here. He's still here. <laughs> but you're not worried and about him. I had him. to read that. No, but she means it in a nice way, Arthur. There's no point in worrying about you once you're dead because you won't know. I mean, you but just I think don't she, know. I, She's not sad that I died, is what it seemed like. No, I don't know. think that. No, that's not what she said. She um, wasn't sad. I guess nobody would be really that sad if I died. Stop it. Stop it. Arthur. Oh, God, he's so annoying. Um, yes. Well, I did have a moment a couple of weeks ago and I thought you might have been about to die in front of my very eyes. So, oh, yeah, um, yeah I, I get it. Thanks to producer Jack. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> But um, that's a horrible dream to have. No, and I know all about them. Yeah, you do, um, don't you? Well, yes, and so. she wants more of your diaries. Oh, yes. Mm. Okay, I'll... I tried I'll to start a, a new diary oh, did last you? week. And? I did one day and I forgot. Oh, was pathetic. Yeah, I know. It's literally by my bed and I've... <laughs> oh, Arthur. Yeah. Seeing that book actually made me realise I forgot. Oh, there you go. Um, That's the end. Is it? Of my life, seemingly. <laughs> and the episode. <laughs> <laughs> Always remember, new episodes drop every Wednesday and Sunday. I don't need the script. I know it. And if you're in need of advice or even just have a question or story. answer. <laughs> <laughs> question or story that you're desperate for me and mum to read, slide into the DMs on socials or at Mummy's Boy Pod. Not just at Mummy's Fuck Boy me. Pod. At Mummy's Boy Pod. Or give me a message on WhatsApp on 078... Oh, double two, hell, double two, oh one three eight three seven, and no matter what the issue, I will ask her. It is absolutely extraordinary that we can't oh, do no, that really without worrying. looking. But hey, troll. <laughs> Bye. It's mummy's boy.